One of the biggest misconceptions about Ecuadorian food is that it's very meat heavy. And that's not true. Actually, a lot of traditional Ecuadorian foods are vegetarian and vegan. And then if you're traveling in Ecuador, it's not a problem if you're vegetarian or vegan, especially in cities like Cuenca. There are so many restaurants here that are vegetarian, vegan, and then also a lot of restaurants can accommodate you. If you're a little bit suspicious of that, then let me show you five great restaurants in Cuenca that just happen to be vegetarian. So I'm here at Nuevo Paraíso and I wanted to feature this as the first vegetarian restaurant in Cuenca in this roundup because I think it was the first vegetarian restaurant in Cuenca. It's been here for decades serving Ecuadorians. More importantly, it's serving non-vegetarian Ecuadorians. This place is beloved by many. And because of that, it's a really good price. So you can get an almuerzo or a set lunch here for $2.50. Also, most of the dishes are under $3. They have drinks here for $1.50. It's a really great deal. They also make a lot of traditional Ecuadorian foods as a vegetarian version. So I decided to go with a cazuela. Now, a cazuela is any kind of stew or soup that is served in this hot bowl or dish, and that's because it can go right in the oven. And they do it a little bit differently here. So a cazuela could be like a beef or a fish stew. Um, this one is actually mushrooms, a number of grains, and then lots of mozzarella on top. The base of it, the grains, is very similar to finesca or a grain soup that they eat here at Easter. They don't put mozzarella cheese on it, but I'm not gonna complain about that. So this, it almost looks like a pot pie with cheese on top. Oh my God, there's a French fry in there. Look at this. So I can see some peas, some mushrooms. There's a French fry. I can see some broccoli, some choclo, which is a sweet corn. Looks like we've got some tofu, some peas. It's so good. It definitely feels like pot pie experience. Mm. Lots of cheese. Now, another reason this spot is famous, and this is not my first time trying it, but I wanted to show you. Here is half of one of the veggie burgers. So on this, you get lettuce, tomato, onion, avocado. It's a dollar. This is half of it. Mmm. It's so good. It's really, really good. Mmm. The key to eating this is also making sure you've got some ahi on it because ahi does make it tastier. But this is a great veggie burger. It doesn't taste like meat, but it does taste really good. Mmm, that's good. So just to give you an idea of how much things cost, so the almuerzo was $2.50. We also got a glass of tree tomato juice, which was a dollar. The hamburger was a dollar. And the most expensive thing that we got was the cazuela, which is $2.40. This place is a steal. The food is really, really good. Okay, they also have a number of drinks, which are funny. Uh, Vuelve a la vida, back to life, saca chuchaki, which is to get rid of a hangover. They also have a Viagra, natural Viagra. At really good prices, 150 is really good. Actually, in the market, they're usually more. So I'm here at Nandala Cocina Vegetariana, which means the Nandala Vegetarian Kitchen. The interesting thing about this place is actually it's all vegan. So I don't know if they started out they were vegetarian, decided to cook vegan, or if somehow they thought vegetarian kitchen would be more approachable to a wider group. It's 2 p.m. This place is packed. They have an almuerzo from Tuesday to Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 3 and it's only $3.95. It includes a juice, a starter soup, a main, and a dessert. 
So the other interesting thing about this place is it's Mexican and Thai food. I've never seen that mix before, um, but today seems to be a Mexican day with the El Morizo, so I'm looking forward to that. Starting off with spinach soup. It looks really smooth, well blended. I hope it tastes good. Mm, okay, I have a feeling this is going to be good. It's seasoned really well. You don't need to add anything to it at all. Mm. Yeah, this is good. I have a good feeling about this place. So I gotta be honest, when I travel, there are two different types of cuisines that I never eat or order or have a desire to eat in another country. And that's Italian and Mexican. And that's because I find, especially in Latin America, if you're not in Mexico, uh, Mexican food usually isn't very good. And the same thing for Italian. I'm just not interested in trying those two things. However, when this plate came out, I was so interested in it because it smelled amazing. So I'm going to show you right here. They actually give you the menu every day. It's available online, which I love. So what we have here, we have some, it says carne de soya. So I don't know if that's TBP or just soy crumble. And then also it's a salsa mexicana, so a Mexican sauce. We've got some black beans, which I love. We've got some seasoned, uh, they call it Mexican style rice, so it's a little bit yellow. We've got some pico de gallo, which is on the salad. And then also, it says aguacate. I don't see that. There's no avocado, but it says aguacate. And then also chips, tortilla chips, which looks like they made from scratch, so that is great. So, this is the soy. So it's in a Mexican sauce. So it's like ground soy, but it's in like a sweet tomato sauce, not in a cooked tomato sauce, like in a fresh tomato sauce like you would get in Mexico. The texture is really good. Mm, the texture is really good. And then the black beans. It has like, I think, an avocado crema on it, which might be where the avocado is coming from. Those are good black beans. Okay, good flavors, deep, like lots of layer there. None of it is spicy. I'm hoping I get the ahi soon, but for $3.95, this is a steal. So I have a passion fruit juice, soup, which I have still not finished, this huge plate of food, and then also a dessert coming. Super good deal. I love this place. I would come here all the time. Okay, so they don't make a heat, but they do serve this sriracha, which doesn't taste like sriracha, but it is really spicy. In fact, spicier than sriracha. It was good. And dessert comes, and I'm so thrilled. It's just a bite, it's not too much. This is like, I don't know if this is called a blondie, since it's not brown, but it's chocolate chip, and it has some chocolate on top. So this would be vegan too, and I wouldn't know it. I would not be able to tell if I didn't know that it was vegan, that it is it's so good. There is a regular menu, and they are open at night. Some of the more popular things are the burrito. They also have a chicken burger that somebody at the other table ordered. It's huge, and they have cauliflower wings, um, Thai green curry, and then also pad thai. Uh, pineapple fried rice, there's lots of things on the menu and they're open till 9 o'clock every night. However, this El Muerzo is only Tuesday to Friday. So I wasn't planning on going out for lunch today, but today's Friday. So I made it down here and it was well worth it. We are so lucky. We showed up to Good Affinity at 3 o'clock. It's open till 3.30 and El Muerzo is still available. Now the El Muerzo here is very interesting because normally you get soup, a drink, and a choice between a couple of different things. But here at Good Affinity, you get the soup, your choice of drink, and then the four things, you get all of them. So you get a big plate of food. Very excited about that. We also decided to get something on the menu. The most popular item I think is called tea fan, which is noodles, soy, vegetables, 
And then also if you want to add on to it, you can also get a drink and you can also add a soup. The almuerzo is $3.50, the tea fan on its own is $4. I'm first gonna try the fried sweet potato. Mmm. Mmm. Well, you know what? It tastes like a chicken ball. You know when you go for Chinese and you, and you get the oh. Chinese chicken balls? It tastes like that. Except it's got some sweet potato on the inside. Let me try it with a little bit of a hot sauce. This hot sauce looks so good. It also looks very hot. Like, I shouldn't be putting this much on it. But I've got lemonade. Actually, it's hot, not too hot. I'm getting hotter. It's getting hotter. Mmm. So, oh, I'm getting hotter. Mmm. Also, we've got some beet here. I love beet. They're cooked, but they're also a little pickly. I think it's in a little bit of a vinaigrette. Really good. And also this salad is just a bunch of sauteed vegetables. Really tasty. And then the minestra, so a traditional minestra. This one also has some squash and looks like some potatoes. Mmm. This is really good. A lot of food here for three people. I think you could easily split it. We've just switched plates and already Andreas has been eating my plate and he's like, mmm, the minestra's so good, the vegetables are so good. I think this really speaks to the place because one of my favorite things is just, you know, like a big bowl of salad, even though I do eat a lot of pork and meat. Um, but I love veggies. So to have someone else who's like, oh, this is so good, really validates things. I wanted to start off on his dish with trying what looks like, from the inside it looks like almost like a breaded cutlet, but this is all tofu, so this is soy. Mmm, mmm. This is super tasty. Lots of spices, so the sauce on this, which almost reminds me of like a spaghetti with a kind of sweet tomato sauce on it. Mm. I think there's some soy in there because it definitely has some umami, not just from the tomato. It's good. This breaded cutlet is really good. They also have a burger here, and I bet it's really fantastic too. Mmm, so good. All right, some spaghetti. Mmm. Great dish. I'm not a huge fan of having like a whole gigantic plate of pasta, but this is a good meal. Oh, and they've also got some broccoli here. I'm gonna eat the broccoli. Mmm. Broccoli is not overcooked, still crunchy. I have a feeling this place is so popular because whatever they cook here, it's awesome. All right, so crossing the river Tombebamba, we are in the neighborhood of El Vergel, and we're eating lunch at Yua. Yua is, I would say, like a modern style vegetarian restaurant. It's a little bit more expensive. Almuerzo here is $3.75. However, it includes a soup, a main, we've got some lemongrass tea, and then it also includes some popcorn and a dessert. We don't have the dessert yet, so we're gonna try the almuerzo first, and then I've ordered something off the menu. The soup, actually this whole thing is very large, very large almuerzo. This is a fava bean soup with some vegetables in it. It's a puree. Mmm, that's pretty good. Very clean tasting. Would be great with a little bit of ahi, but maybe we'll ask for that. This is a pretty good soup, pretty standard bean soup. Now, the main plate, it looks great because it has so many things on it. We have this quinoa salad, we've got a little bit of hummus, 
And then we've got this like vegetarian bread roll that looks really interesting. And I don't know if this is raw kale. I have to say, it smells amazing. This bread is so soft. Looks like I can see in it some zucchini, red pepper, some carrots. Mmm, that's really good. It's like a roasted vegetable roll. It's really tasty. Mmm, light, clean tasting. I'd say consistent with the previous flavors, like very light, clean. Not a lot of spices in it. Mmm, hummus is really good. Mmm, hummus is the best thing. It's good. Let me try. I don't. I think the kale might have been massaged with a little bit of oil. Not bad. Next up, ordering off the menu. This is the vegan jackfruit barbecue sandwich. And so jackfruit is often used as a pulled pork alternative because it actually has a very similar texture to meat. And so I've heard of many pulled pork sandwiches using jackfruit, but I've never actually had one, so I was very excited to see it. For $6.50, you get a pretty big jackfruit sandwich, a bunch of potatoes, and then you get four different dipping sauces. So you've got some sweet mustard, you've got a fava bean sauce, a beet sauce, and then a ranch sauce. Let me show you what the jackfruit looks like. So you can see it almost has the texture of like a meat. Hmm. Barbecue sauce is fantastic. It looks like meat, but unless it's really shredded, which is probably why it looks like, unless it's shredded, I think uh, you start to get some crunchiness and you can tell it's a fruit or a vegetable, it's not quite meat, but shredded. Hmm. Shredded, it works really well. So let's try it as the sandwich. This is a big sandwich with a lot in it. Okay. Mm. It's pretty good. It definitely gives you the kind of feel of a pulled pork sandwich. Barbecue sauce is pretty good. Mm. And then let's try some of these potatoes. I think I want the sweet mustard. Mm. Sweet mustard, great. So all of the sauces as well, the dips, are vegan and gluten-free. Of course, the actual bread is not, it's sourdough. Mm. Beet is pretty good. Fava bean. Interesting flavor. And then the ranch. Mm. Pretty good. So for the creamy dips, they actually use almond milk instead of dairy. I would say a lot of the flavors here are a little bit more on the mild side. It would have been great to have some ahi. Um, but if you're someone who kind of likes mild, fresh flavors, this is a good spot. All right, so before I share the fifth vegetarian restaurant you should try in Cuenca, let me tell you a fun fact. That is 74% of people who watched my last video are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, let me know in the comments below. So my fifth vegetarian restaurant in Cuenca is Comer, Cenar, Vivir. It means eat, heal, live. And this is not the restaurant. I'm actually at the Casa Cuencana in the suite that I stay in. And this restaurant is across the street. It's a small spot owned by a Venezuelan couple. It has four tables and it was full when I went in. That's not surprising because it has over, I think, 50 five-star reviews on Google reviews and everyone has glowing things to say about it, especially the pasta. And so I went in and just decided to get the almuerzo to go across the street. It's 4.50, you get a drink, a soup, a main, and a dessert. 
and I've got to say, I was shocked at how much food there was, but also um, he didn't charge me for takeout containers. And so that does happen a lot right now because restaurants are spending so much on takeout containers, but he charged me that $4.50, nothing more. Super nice man. So let's start with soup. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. It's just a veggie broth. And I would say I've had a lot of veggie broths in Ecuador, and that is a really tasty one that has a lot of flavor. They know how to season it. Let's get to this cannoli. This is the cannoli. So I believe you could have a couple different kinds of cannoli fillings, but I love spinach pasta. This is gigantic, so please excuse me while I try to take a bite. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is really, really good. Really good. Tomato sauce is awesome. Spinach is awesome. Oh, and there's some red pepper I can see and some other vegetables. This place, I can see why so many people were saying that it has fantastic pasta. They must be making this by hand because it's really good. And then the salad. I really like it when people cut up my lettuce like this. This is actually how I make salad. I shred it like this. And then carrot, we've got some red cabbage. Mmm. Mmm. Salad dressing is awesome. I would just ask him to buy a jar of it. It's like a fresh herb creamy salad dressing. Now because of the cheese and obviously the salad dressing, I'm guessing also is probably made with dairy. This is vegetarian, but I heard this place is also vegan friendly. So you can go in there if you're vegan as well. Let's try this dessert. Whenever you get desserts are always kind of small, but that's okay because I don't love dessert. Mmm. Oh, oh my God, there's crumble at the bottom? Mmm. That is awesome. Okay. This is definitely, I would say, yes, definitely one of the best um, vegetarian restaurants in Cuenca. But also, if we talk about almuerzos and having a set lunch for $4.50, this is fantastic. Like for me, I'm not going to eat the whole thing at once. So I'll probably eat the salad, one of the cannolis. And then for dinner, probably have the soup and the rest of the cannolis. It's really great. It's a good bargain. It's a good bargain. So these are my favorite vegetarian restaurants in Cuenca. I haven't been to all of the vegetarian restaurants in Cuenca. I also didn't go to restaurants which are regular but also have vegetarian options. And then I also didn't go to any that were not open for lunch. So there are some well-known ones. I think one is called Oasis that's only open at dinner. Didn't go there. This is really, if you want to go have lunch somewhere, these are great vegetarian restaurants. All of them were vegan friendly too. And God, I gotta say, you know, people think that it's hard to eat vegetarian and vegan in Latin America, but that is not true in Cuenca. Cuenca has so many opportunities, too many opportunities. I could probably do, you know, an hour's video worth. Yeah, there's a lot. If I didn't cover one that you love, please let me know in the comments below.